being quarantined here in Florida away from my home in Atlanta, Georgia, I am still participating in the collaborations that are being uploaded. But what I'm loving the most is that I am pulling out all of the creative crafty skills that are deeply embedded as I do not have any of my normal supplies here and I am limiting myself with going out. So if you're interested in seeing what I put together from nothing, then just keep watching. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. JRC Restoration Decor and Designs. My name is Phyllis, and if this is your first time visiting my channel, I want to thank you for stopping by and ask that you please consider subscribing by tapping the subscribe button, click the bell and the select all to be notified of all future videos that I upload. And to my faithful established viewers, thank you so much for your continued support in watching my videos. Here on my channel, I share DIYs, home decor, Goodwill thrift hauls, and more. I am participating in a collaboration entitled Quarantine Date Night, and this is being hosted by two lovely ladies. The first is Marilyn of Fabulous Designs on a Budget, Marilyn, and then Shanji of Shandy living life to the fullest. I will have the link to these ladies description box as well as the playlist and I had so much fun putting this together. So if you'd like to see what I've put together then just keep watching. I took these old Dollar Tree chargers that my daughter had. You can see this one is broke. It used to be gray and I gave it first coat of white chalk paint and then this one was used in my lavishly yellow tablescape. You can see the yellow where I painted yellow and I painted it white, the first coat. I took an old curtain, cut it up, and the purple folder, class folder. I am going to turn this into a placemat. I learned this trick, or actually just using the folder by itself without fabric, from another YouTuber, but I use this purple in another tablescape and I am going to cover it. I'm doing this to keep from spending money to pile up things in my daughter's home because she's not a DIYer and I don't want to take an, a lot of extra stuff back home as well. So I'm just using stuff and getting creative and using things that I already have on hand. So I'll just let you continue to watch the video and I hope you enjoy. Again, I had fun just taking out, bringing out all the stops to create this beautiful romantic setting and I'll have two table settings the only thing that's changed is the centerpiece and what I've done to my wine glasses enjoy now this Mod Podge does dry clear and again Mod Podge is like Elmer's glue so it will adhere the fabric to the folder permanently it looks a mess but the end result is what I wanted and it turned out very nice here it is all done now while that dried I just did a setting of the first mat that I did on my daughter's ottoman just to see how I actually wanted to set up on the table and you'll see that I did a little DIY on the wine glass I ended up taking a ribbon that she had and a little crystal and I hung it and here is my first table setting now you'll see I also taken some of the curtain folded it over and wrapped it around the charger because I was trying to break up the white so I did if you can look I did the black mat the white charger black fabric just to break it up then the white plate that has a trimming of silver around the edge of it and then I did a silver plate which came from the Dollar Tree. I had that, not the Dollar Tree, I'm sorry, I ordered that from Amazon. And then the black fabric or curtain that I folded as a napkin and then put a silver napkin ring that came from the Dollar Tree. So I was just trying to alternate the black, white, black, white, and silver. And then you can also see that I did the wine glass. I took some ribbon that my daughter had 
and I wrapped it around the glass and just dangled a crystal from it and then put the silver votive candle on the inside just to give an elegant look trying to set the romantic mood and I liked the way everything turned out. I called this setting the classic romantic table setting because usually when you set a table or have a romantic dinner, roses are always present. And I bought this cluster of white roses from Family Dollar and just stuck it in the vase, which is also, the vase is a DIY as well. And I stuck it in the vase and the classic is always in black and white, or that's one of the styles considered to be classic, black and white. And you'll see um, the reason for the name of the second setting. Again, chose this to be classic because of the white roses and classic is contended to be set around black and white. Now in this table setting, you'll see a white Eiffel Tower. I got that from a thrift store here. And that is the reason I call it Paris Romantic Table Setting. Paris is known for a place of love and romance. And that is why I named this table setting as such. Again, in the table setting, nothing really has changed except the centerpiece. And if you notice the way I laid the napkins in the first setting, the classic romantic setting, the napkins were straight up. On this setting, I just slanted them to the right a little. And I took the votive candles out of the wine glasses. I hope you enjoyed my quarantine date night romantic table settings. Thank you so much for watching. JRC Restoration, Decor, and Designs. And remember, the distance between your dreams and reality is called action. So make it a blessed and productive day, everyone. And until next time, bye-bye.